Never ever, ever had an airport experience like this. Airports, you're so senior. Honestly, right? honestly, like if you want a good airport experience, come to Indonesia. Man, Jakarta Airport is beautiful. Yeah. We've arrived. Here we are. We're at Sakana Hatta. This is where things end. Like... Julia looks like she's getting emotional already. I'm emotional. I'm very emotional. Oh, she's gonna cry. <laughs> She'll start crying if you tell her. She's going, look, 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 look. So it was so we ended up doing about four weeks of lockdown and a week of quarantine. And then uh, three weeks of fun, basically, it and enjoyment. Oh, it was 100% worth it. We spent God knows how much to get here, about 700 pounds, I would say, each. Yeah. Which is about $1,000 each. Yeah. Just from Thailand. So bear in mind, we didn't fly from Europe or anything. So a lot of cash to be here, but um, yeah, I would say it was worth everything. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Look, look who's from South Southwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. South Southwest, Moscow, yeah. Big up, big up Bandung. All right, anyway, can't you can't fault this airport. Look how amazing it looks. It's beautiful. It looks quite great, yeah. It is a pretty impressive airport. Jakarta, wow. Sakana Hatta, man. If you've been to Bangkok's airport, man, this is beautiful in comparison. Yeah, you know what, Jakarta, you are a forward-thinking city. I tell you. Not the best of times, but here, right now, this is really good. <laughs> it's amazing, look at that. Can't fault it, can you? We came here, we were rushed to a quarantine hotel, so we never actually saw much of the airport. It was late night. Yeah. You know, you have to go through immigration and all that, you'll be nervous and stuff. But this, this is really, really stunning. So basically what's happening here is we are heading out of Jakarta and flying out of Indonesia. Where are we going? Probably not going to let on just yet. We'll see, it'll be a surprise at the end of the video. But, um, man, Jakarta Airport is beautiful. Sakana Hatta. Really Incredible. Nice. Not that many people around at the moment. It's very quiet. I mean, all the PPKMs, and the restrictions in place makes it very hard to actually enter and leave the country almost, in that sense. You kind of don't want to leave, because, yeah. Yeah. You know what I love about Indonesia as well is I love the kind of smart shirts that people wear, the jazzy shirts. <laughs> uh, honestly, we don't have anything like that in the UK. It's wicked. Such a good vibe. It's so cool. I need to get one next time I'm, next time we're back on the return, on the return to Indonesia. But uh, right now we are checking out. We are leaving. Hopefully, when thing when we do come back, things will be in a better place, ma'am. We'll definitely go back to Bandung. We will definitely see some parts of Jakarta we didn't see, I'm sure. And man, we're definitely doing Central and East Java. You know, that's, that's definitely on our hit list. And uh, obviously North Sumatra, down to South Sumatra as well. And of the other islands too. Yeah. You yeah. already have a plan, basically made. Yeah, we, we, we basically, <laughs> Julia had already made all the plans, but obviously, all the restrictions and things, you know, it was difficult to actually, you know, do anything. So um, here we are, you know, the visa situation was so tricky that we were like, you know, it's easier just to leave basically. And uh, yeah, here we are, leaving. Oof. It's beautiful though, absolutely chanting. Ah. Absolutely you, yeah, absolutely <laughs> chanting. I'm mixing languages now. Assolutamente <laughs> chanting. Italian and Indonesian. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful, huh? Man, I tell you what, our airports in the UK, they don't even look like this. This is like, this is amazing. Most flights look like they're going to Istanbul and oh, Dubai yeah. and Hong Kong yeah. and Abu Dhabi. Basically, mostly going to the Middle East. Uh, you want a shop? Want a but it's on the other side, I think. And right? I want a bookstore. Right. There's okay. none here, you reckon? To be, to be fair, really should, um... to be fair, there is stuff open here. Yeah, there is. There, stuff in, versus Bangkok, there was nothing open. This, oh, this is why this is why Indonesia is so much better than Thailand because 
actually there's there's restaurants open people can grab some food and you know they, do you know what even in Indonesia in Burger King they do plant based burger that's pretty good oh yeah that's that is It is quite hot in this airport actually. There's one thing I've got to say about Jakarta Airport. It's quite warm. They don't really put on the aircon as much here. Oh, it's getting cooler down here though. Yeah. Down here with the uh, department stores, it's a bit cooler. Ooh. Let's lift that up. Lovely. Gosh, man, even, even the immigration staff here are so friendly. Oh, Security. Yeah, no. Oh yeah, so uh, where'd you go, Bali? Like, what's up? You know, you know, you know a, um, a country's good when their immigration staff are nice. <laughs> when, when a country's got, the, when a country's got, like, mean immigration staff, you can usually gauge that the country might be a bit meaner. But here in Indonesia, they're really friendly. So, uh, that's always good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, good vibes. Right anything to eat this is this is why all the food was on the other side there's duty free here there's not so much food it's and stuff in there. Either, is there no not really bookstore used to be very common in airports of my right. times yeah don't know what's happened now <laughs> i never see one <laughs> not even by accident this is not leading to much we, no. we're down here we no so we, we should actually go check where we are <laughs> we need to go yeah, upstairs there looks pretty detoupe as well. Yeah, it's pretty pretty closed upstairs before anyone starts going, you should have gone to this place. It's always closed. <laughs> <laughs> Problem is, is travelling during this time, a lot of things are closed and the airports aren't that fun. I'm usually a big airport guy. I don't know about anyone else. Like, who here is an airport early kind of person? That's me. I like to get there, have food and have, have a little drink, chill and just relax. Yeah. And just vibe, just enjoy the flight, you've paid for it. The worst has been the rush. Man, that's the worst, yeah, for sure. Such I really hate that. Right. Julia's found a pharmacy. Yeah. Julia is very happy. So, Next bookshop. That, that's big points for Jakarta Airport, for Sakana Hatta. Uh, to find an open pharmacy, Julia's very, very pleased about that. Balinese stuff. I see there's a lot of Balinese kind of souvenirs there. Oh, is this look Balinese? Look at yeah. the statues, you see the wooden right. ones? Right, yeah. The brown ones there. Yeah. Yeah, in the Balinese. It's Balinese. They, they are the Korean that style that we've seen in some places that were Balinese style. Mm. That's yeah. what they're doing Bali, no? Look, these are your friends, Julia. These are my friends. Yeah. Why? This is Julia's friends. It's my friends, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and he's ghostly empty on this side. I think we shouldn't have probably crossed over security just yet. Probably a bit early. I would assume they would have stuff here. Because the airport wasn't that, that empty. Nah. No. So I don't know if it would have been tough. Man, it felt like the airport was so busy on the other side. Yeah, here Obviously, the people again. were taking ages. Man, the people were so <laughs> slow on the other side. What I find so they specifically seeing like tables with the chairs on top and stuff. Right. I don't know why I always find it really sad. No, not just now during the pandemic in general. I think it's quite a sad scenery. You know what I mean? You know even when they like clean up for the night, restaurants like when they close up and start clean up and put the chairs on top of the table. I don't know, maybe I'm mental. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, she's right. It's quite sad. You know what I mean? It's quite sad. It's sad seeing places like this. Like This is like really, really beautiful airport. You can imagine how busy it would be bustling. You know, look at this. Like, literally, was, uh, literally no one around. That could have already taste some beer. I couldn't, <laughs> I, I couldn't, I couldn't because I knew, I knew there was going to be nothing on this other side. <gasps> oh, there's a W.H. Smith. Oh my God. And it's open. Man, Jakarta, you just keep on giving. Surprise, or surprise. Indonesia, you no, are a fabulous we, country. We Look at that top chilling, relaxing. <laughs> I've been at the beach. Legs up. Beer opening. Cool, now you've got two minutes to drink your. Let's give this a whirl. <laughs> oh, this excites oh, me. This, like, this is like being on the beach. Bottom of the airport. <laughs> that is good. That is good. I've never experienced this in my life. In fact, next door to us, you can have a massage chair as well. 
Who wants to? We just finished all our Indonesian money. Once I had a beer, I need the bathroom 10 times so I can relax and chill because I need to get up to the bathroom 10 times. <laughs> That's how it works. Never ever, ever had an airport experience like this. Airport's yourself, you've got a beer in your hands, you've got your legs up. This is the most comfortable airport seat exactly I've ever sat in. It's true. free as well. Like normally, normally once you get up to this point, just before boarding, you get to like very crowded areas and you have to fight to find a seat and stuff like that. Yeah. This is really good. Normally it's really crowded. This. And in fact, during, during busy times, this is probably quite busy, but in fact, there's enough seats for everyone. And man, you want one of these. Like, come, come to, I mean, I'd come to Indonesia just to fly home and just relax here. Watch the flights take off in front of me and uh, just sip a beer. In fact, I think Pat is going to book another flight to Indonesia just before flying home. Just <laughs> flying back to Indonesia just to fly back from Jakarta to the UK. <laughs> That's a good plan. I'm actually game for that. Look, and you've got. Samsung TV behind me. I don't know what this is showing, but amazing. Right, this is how you enjoy the beach that you never had while we were in Bandung. This is the beach that we get. So kind of have to relax in on one of these chairs. You know what? Next time I come back to this, I'm gonna come really early and just chill. You can go WH behind me, grab a beer, and then you just come here and chill, relax. Good vibes. Right, enough, enough. Yeah, we've been cold, but Pat wants to just be there chilling and drinking his beer, and I think he's just secretly trying to make us miss our flight. All right, that's it now. Passports in hand, we are heading out. I think we're a bit early. I think Julia's making us go really early. We could have yeah, had another beer. Us. Oh man, it's too early. Should we go back? Could go, could have gone and sit down. Let's, let's see what's happening here. And let's see. Julia, Julia, just, Julia was just like the, the uh, Indonesian star from the friendliest. Oh man. Honestly, honestly, like if you want a good airport experience, come to Indonesia. The staff, the experience, even Sakana Hatha, great airport. Quality, quality people, quality country, quality vibes. And you can see. And uh, even during lockdowns, it's, it's just been unforgettable. I'll. Uh, yeah, I, I loved every minute of it. She went to me, I've got a beautiful name. She <laughs> come with Yulia. Really? She come with Yulia and said I've got a beautiful name. <laughs> so I think she was being polite. <laughs> then she was like, then she called you chanting, didn't she? Bless yeah. her. Oh. After that, she made me just take my mask off. Right, we're on board and it is, and it is Ramo. I honestly haven't seen a flight like this in such a long time. Man. Yeah, because this is before COVID, this was the last time. We went on a flight to, when we flew to Thailand from Istanbul, there was about 10 people on our flight, if that, it was about eight of us. Flying to Singapore from Thailand, 16 of us. Flying to Jakarta from Singapore, 12 of us. Like, completely empty flights. First time ever, this flight is ran. It's crazy. We, we, the, the Indonesian people are so efficient eh, that we turned up like 10 minutes after they said they were boarding. Everyone was boarded, like everyone was in their seats. Crazy. Julia's <laughs> watching Mulan. <laughs> All right, we made it. How are you doing? We are in Istanbul, next destination. Boom. Find out why we're here a little later. But uh, yeah, this is this is the end of the video. We're gonna go and get a uh, SIM card and sort out getting transport. It's at five o'clock in the morning here, or quarter four. four. It's quarter five in the morning. 
it's just really really early i doubt our airbnb host is going to surface for at least another three hours so uh yeah it's a cool little airport istanbul it's really beautiful um but uh yeah we're gonna leave it there we'll see you guys in the next one